state athletes why hydration is important, especially during intense exercise in the heat. We try to have them understand that the body has three competing components. It's the muscle, it's the skin, and it's the heart. And they all want fluid, and there's not enough fluid to go around for all three components. And as you get dehydrated, ultimately all three of those components can suffer. And when an athlete gets to be two or three or four percent dehydrated, that means the amount um, of body mass loss, which can happen in just 20 or 30 minutes of activity, it can have a detriment on their strength, on their power, on their endurance. For every additional 1% body mass loss, they're about a half a degree Fahrenheit hotter. So that means an athlete who's just um, maybe 4% dehydrated at the end of a practice session, which is extremely typical, that person could be two degrees Fahrenheit hotter, which could compromise safety issues and without question can compromise their performance. And in addition, um, their heart rate will be about five beats per minute higher for every additional 1% body mass loss. And that's really important at the end of games or the end of training sessions, when athletes need to be able to go at their best, there's less wiggle room because their heart rate is now closer to their max. When I'm uh, working with uh, people, when we're trying to teach them about hydration, we use a concept called max out longer. In the athletic realm, that means that you can go harder for a longer period of time if you stay properly hydrated or you minimize dehydration. And that's relevant for athletes and soldiers, whatever that context may be. But even in just in everyday life, if you're working through the course of a workday, max out longer could mean that you can sustain cognitive function and your mood for a longer period of time, which will allow you to perform better as well.